The president's funding request for NASA, preparing for first flight on another world, and a new crew heads to the space station. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. Acting NASA Administrator Steve Jerzyk discussed the President's fiscal year 2022 discretionary funding request for NASA. The $24.7 billion funding request it allows NASA to address the climate change challenge in more significant ways than we've had in the past. It allows us to understand the Earth as a system from the oceans to the atmosphere. The request includes funding also related to climate change for programs associated with the first A in NASA's name. Aeronautics has been charged with developing a more environmentally friendly aviation system. One of them is the X-57 Maxwell Flight Demonstrator. It's gonna demonstrate electric aircraft technology, including distributed propulsion. Other milestones expected under the new funding request include the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, which will look back in time to the first galaxies in the early universe. The funding request also is a strong show of support for our Artemis program and Moon to Mars exploration approach. The Space Launch System rocket, the Orion spacecraft, gateway in lunar orbit, and a commercial human landing system will land the first woman and first person of color on the surface of the moon and are the systems we will use to establish sustainable exploration and research in preparation for the first human missions to Mars. During a pre-flight briefing on April 9th, the team for our Ingenuity Mars helicopter discussed the helicopter's status and what to expect on its first attempt at powered controlled flight on another planet, currently targeted for no earlier than Sunday, April 11th. We have carefully designed, we have carefully tested on Earth, we have been checking out carefully on Mars up to now, and it's time to attempt the first flight and we will test, prove, and learn, regardless of what the outcome is. If Ingenuity flies on April 11th as expected, a live stream confirming the historic first flight is targeted to start around 3.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time on April 12th. Ingenuity, a technology demonstration to test powered flight on another world for the first time, arrived at Mars on February 18th with our Perseverance Mars rover. The International Space Station's newest crew, including our Mark Vandehei, blasted off on April 9th from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. A few hours later, Vandehei, Oleg Novitsky, and Pyotr Dubrov, both of the Russian space agency Roscosmos, were welcomed aboard the station by the crew already on board, including our Kate Rubens and NASA's SpaceX Crew-1 astronauts, Michael Hopkins, Victor Glover, Shannon Walker, and Soichi Noguchi. April 5th marked a first for commercial space flight aboard the International Space Station when the Crew Dragon Resilience spacecraft carrying NASA's SpaceX Crew-1 astronauts autonomously undocked from the forward port of the station's Harmony module and relocated to the space-facing port. The move will enable the extraction of new solar arrays from a SpaceX cargo spacecraft that will arrive after Crew-1 departs. On April 6th, engineers conducted an RS-25 engine test on the A-1 test stand at our Stennis Space Center near Bay St. Louis, Mississippi. The full duration test is the second in a scheduled series of seven tests to provide valuable data for development and production of the engines. Four RS-25s will help power the agency's Space Launch System rocket on future missions to the moon, including the Artemis I uncrewed flight test targeted for this year that will pave the way for future flights with astronauts to explore the moon and prepare for missions to Mars. NASA's OSIRIS-REx spacecraft completed a last flyover of asteroid Bennu on April 7th to document surface changes that resulted on the asteroid during the mission's sample collection maneuver last October. It will take until at least April 13th to downlink all of the data from the flyby. A survey of the sample collection site could teach us more about the nature of the surface and subsurface materials and the mechanical properties of the asteroid. OSIRIS-REx is scheduled to return to Earth with the sample material it collected from Bennu in September 2023. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov.